Yo, right, Internet, Roth Games here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a really easy way to get a bunch of weapon skins. Uh, in fact, it's going to be at least three a day, providing massive doesn't change things. But uh, if you've been playing for a while, you've got your level 30 character in the security wing, you have an upgrade called the supply line. And this has a perk called Close Vendor, which is quite literally a dude down this corridor, what sells clothes. I believe his inventory restocks every 24 hours, it might be 12, I'm not sure. It'll sell a bunch of cosmetic goods basically, I recommend just buying all of it because all of that stuff is actually across uh, across your account. Um, but one, once a day he will sell a weapon skin. Now what is not obvious about this is that the skins are actually governed by level bracket. What, by, what I mean by that is basically your level 30 character will see a different skin to a level 15 character and you know so on so what you want to do then uh, is basically you want to make two alts you want one at level 5 and one at level 6 so what you need to do then do you know the introduction sequence where you you make your agent and do you know this the first first mission to get out of Brooklyn men. you do the helicopter unlock your base of operations then you want to do uh, these four Encounters these blue encounters, which you will you'll, you'll see these just from looking at the first bulletin boards that you come across. But uh, these are very important because these will actually give you enough materials to actually buy your upgrade. Then you have to do the Lincoln Tunnel mission, uh, which is basically the introduction to unlock a security wing to begin with. Uh, but that's actually all you have to do. That will that will by default lead you at level five and give you enough supplies, as you can see here. Uh, just enough to good. get the supply Thanks line, so out, it's, it's very important that you do those four encounters. Uh, then, basically, it's a case of you want to do it again on a level, you know, another character, you'll end up here at level five. Then I recommend on that one just going and doing the Madison Square mission just across the road. Because that will lead you at level 6, and then you have one five, one six, and then when you go to the vendor each day, He's got his ATAC for winter, and then uh, on my alt character, which I've got. Uh, you notice here she has a different, she obviously she has a different skin to buy, but uh, she has a lot of money. And the way you, you know, you a, a low level character would have a low, you know, a bunch of money to actually buy them, is just use the stash the same way you would send the skins across to, you know, the character you actually want to use them. You can buy more than one of each one, by the way, if you want to stock it. But uh, yeah, just send some like level 30 blues or purples or just stuff that you'd normally just junk or sell. Just get them to vendor it because obviously that's a lot of a lot of credits for them and they can easily, you know, fund your fund your, your weapon skin addiction. Uh, but once you've done that, it's literally just a case of sticking the skins in the stash to send across to your character. Uh, if, or I should say when, you realize your stash is completely full you also now have two characters to so basically use as mules just um you know get them to store any extras but i'm going to show you this here this is my level five i'm going to let you see the play time for one hour and 15 minutes so really for maybe you know two to three hours you can have a couple of extra characters there you're not going to play but they will guarantee you extra skins each day Anyway, that is it. That is a video. Hope you found that useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. I'm Gruff Games. Thanks for watching.